Well, hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper coming to you from Schavazonde, the Netherlands. It's Tuesday, and that means it's time for stories and stamps. And today I have a project that's completely different than what I normally do. I am going to be showing you how to make an accordion topped gift bag. And you can choose to make a really cute tag with it or not. And if you are not used to making anything 3D, anything gifty, this is really cool because it involves no measurements. So I'm going to make this bag twice. The first time I'm going to make it with no measuring whatsoever. And the second time I'm going to guide you through with some measurements if that makes you more comfortable. Okay. And we're going to start with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So I would suggest that if you're doing this, first take a piece of paper that is old and retired or maybe get your least favorite one so it doesn't matter if you mess up. I'm, I don't think you will mess up, but it just makes you feel better if you do it that way. So my name is Jackie Vandersar Boot, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in both Canada and the Netherlands. Um, that does mean I have to run two different businesses. I can't combine, so I run my business, my Canadian business is my prime business because I've done it for 18 years. And in Holland, I'm a little bit more of a hobby demonstrator, I guess you could call it. I don't run like classes or anything like that. I'm just by... I will do it and I love to do it, but it's by request. So if you want to have a class, you need to ask me and I will happily do a workshop for you and your friends or for a special occasion, a mystery night out. It's a lot of fun, um, but I do everything online. So I'm hoping that you click on the links and shop with me. So let's have a look. This is a bag that I made and it's driving me a little bit crazy because the accordion part at the top is just a little bit bigger on the left than it is on the right. But it is super cute. So this is made out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper. This one is from the uh, Traditions of St. Nick, which is an online exclusive. So Stampin' Up! has two catalogs, an annual catalog and, uh, and a seasonal catalog. So it's a mini catalog. And right now there's a holiday one that was from September to December. And then in January, there'll be a new one again. But these are Stampin' Up! as a whole load of products that are not in any catalogs and they are called online exclusives. So I made this one and I made this one with some retired paper and this one as well. So you can just see what it looks like. It doesn't need a tag. So let's get started. So you're going to grab a 12 by 12 piece of paper and you are going to need a bone folder. Or if you don't have a bone folder, then you can use a, a block, something that will give you a nice crisp fold. I'm going to first start with this pretty paper, and then the next one I'm going to use this. It's from the annual catalog, and if you are watching today, the sale, the seasonal sale has started today. So anywhere between 10, 15, or 20% off of paper, cardstock, ink, markers, blends, um, no bundles of any kind, but it's a great deal to stock up. So what I want you to do first is take this paper and you're going to fold it in half. You don't have to fold it all the way. You can just mark the, the, the middle part, but I find that I like to fold it so that it's very obvious to me how it goes. And the ribbon covers that fold, so you don't have to worry about there being a line in the middle of your bag. There will be a line, but it will be covered. So I'm even going to give it a crisp fold. And then you open it up. And then you're going to fold this piece in right to the uh, score line. So it's not going past the score line. See, it's just right in there. there. Give it a nice, nice crisp fold. Now we're going to fold this one over and we're going to go a little bit past. See, about a half an inch past because this is where we're going to stick it together. So fold it down again. I'm just carefully doing it there. And you see we're not measuring anything. Give it a nice crisp fold. And now I could use tear and tape, but I'm just going to use my cheapest adhesive, and that is a liquid adhesive. So you just want to run a... It's also easy. You don't have to take any backing off. You don't have to put in a refill. So just get your glue going and then go all the way down. You could make another thin line if you want, but the key is to just do a thin line. All right, so I've got my glue. Can you see it? And now we're just going to fold it over again. Press it down. 
and we're just going to let that dry. Okay. My fingers are a little sticky, so I'm just going to rub them a little bit. That is the downfall if you use a liquid adhesive. If you have used a little bit too much, you're going to get some on your hands and just rub it off like so. Not a big deal. Okay, so now for the bottom of our bag, we're going to take about three fingers. So measure three fingers and then fold up. Okay, like so. Three fingers, fold up. So now we're going to give that a crisp fold. And now we're going to open that up, see, like so. And as we open it up, I'm just going to loosen it up a little bit. This is the trickiest part. You're going to take that fold in the middle, that score line, and just lay it in the crease. And then just, oh, there, make sure it's straight, and then press. So here we go. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just gently work it open a little bit. Press this down. Make sure that that score line is in the middle of here. And then once it looks straight, just press. Okay. Open that up nicely. There. And now I would say maybe two fingers. You're going to fold it over. Like so. Give that a press and then okay so far so good okay so I was doing this that's not far enough you need these two the two flaps are gonna have to overlap so we want to go a little bit further like so so I'm going about a half of an inch or so past the middle line okay so you can play and then we're gonna fold the other side up as well now before we do this, I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive in these triangles, just in the triangle, okay, because we don't want to stick our bag together. So just in those two triangles, fold it closed. So the adhesive was just in this part here, underneath that triangle. So it's not going in this middle part, okay. And now on this side, we're going to put it in the triangles, like so and across this little middle section, okay? Now we're gonna fold it shut and see the pieces are overlapping. This is a very busy print, I'm sorry. Maybe it wasn't a good choice because you can't see. So now we're gonna fold this part in so that this corner here, you know what? I'm gonna grab a marker so that you guys can see here. This is a blend. So this corner here, can you see it? is going to go into this corner here. This is extra, okay? And the same thing on this side. So this is the corner, and this tip is going to get folded in so that it fits in there, okay? So here we go. And it might not be perfect, and that's okay, but it's going to be close. And so we want to keep that fairly straight, but again, we're not measuring. We're going to give that a nice score. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Fit that corner in. There. It's quite helpful to have that. There. And now we're just going to... Our cardstock is pretty stiff. It's good quality cardstock. It's not flimsy. So you're going to get a nice, sturdy bag. And we're not... We're not um, we're not gluing anything here, so now we're just going to open this up, and then we're going to put our hand inside the bag. Okay, so you're going to put your hand inside, and now you're pressing down. Now, now you are going to see this blue, so you're not, you know. And now we're going to go to the other side and just tighten up the corners. Take our hand out, fold it here, fold it there. See, and now we have this nice little. Divot. Of course, we've got the blue in here, but that's that's okay. This is just a training, a training bag. Okay, there. You want to just tuck that in, make your corners nice. See, now we have a nice bag. And now you want to now at this point you want to put whatever you're putting inside the bag as a gift. You want to put that inside now. So I'm going to find something. Okay. 
Okay, I have um, some coffee beans. These are raspberry chocolate coffee beans. They smell amazing. It's too bad that we can't convey smell through the camera. So I'm just going to tie it in a loose knot. And you really shouldn't put coffee beans in plastic. I should have had a little paper bag, but guess what? It's gonna fit in here just perfectly. So now we have our bag. And this is the seam on the back. So I'm going to start with going like this. Now we're going to make the accordion. And I would say that's about a half an inch. But it's just a comfortable fold in my hands. And I'm just going to go back and forth. And I didn't really count how many times. But you want to go, you need more than you think. Okay. Um, it's just this bag is so easy. And it's so much fun. So I don't think I would go less than a 12 by 12 because you wouldn't get a nice accordion top if you had less paper to work with. See, so I think maybe one more fold there. And if you want, you can give it an extra squish. But you see, now you have that. And then if you go like so on both sides. And I think I always want to do, I always end up doing one more than what I think. But so... One more. There we go. And then what you do is you take a matching ribbon and you're going to tie it so that it goes around. So we'll do that next. Now, one other piece of advice is you want to use a ribbon that's fairly sturdy, either a thick, sturdy ribbon or a wider ribbon because its job is to hold that accordion pleat into place. So we're just going to lay the bag on top like so. Oops, I'm making a mess of things. Here. And then it's helpful to have another set of hands, but I don't have another set of hands, so I'm just going to put my finger there, tie it fairly tightly so that it almost buckles, and then tie it in a knot first, and then you can tie it in a bow. And I don't know if I gave myself enough room, but see, and then you can pull it up, try to get it in the middle. And then I think you can leave the bow on top. See, it doesn't have to be a bow either. And then you can just press that so that it just looks really cute. There. I'll see if I can make it into a bow, but otherwise you can just tie it in a knot and then another knot. You know what? I'm not going to do a bow. Watch. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to tie it like so and like so. And then you can do another one to make it a little bit more... You could even tie an orange one on. You could do, do a little bits of ribbon, but I don't have orange. So that you could do it like so and do a few, just to give it some added interest, you know? So think outside the box. I think that looks really cute. So now, for those of you who like measurements, would you like to do another bag with the measurements? Let me just move that over a little bit. So when that ribbon goes in the middle, and it seems to have a mind of its own, then uh, it then it, it stays nicely and you can just go like so. Up. And it's just really pretty. It's so easy to make a nice gift without having it to cost a lot of money. And oh, it smells amazing. The smell of the chocolate raspberry coffee beans is going right through. So here it is again in the um, Christmas paper. It's so cute. And then you can see the little gingerbread man and yeah, so the gingerbread man was stamped and then die cut, okay? It was really cute. And then I stamped his face in Versamark and white embossed so that he looks like he's been decorated with white icing. Okay, so are we ready to um, do some measuring? Now, I the measurements I'm going to use are in centimeters because I found that it was more helpful. And you're going to need a tool. So what you're going to find is that you can make this bag without any fancy tools, with just your fingers and something to give a good sharp crease. Um, you can decide which one you like better. So this tool is called a Simply Scored, and it's this huge thing. It's like 12 and a half inches wide by 12 and a half inches tall, and it comes with, does it go this far? Ah, I can't, I don't have enough room. Okay, there's a scoring tool that goes in there. Now this, as you can see, it's in inches. So there is a, a plate that you can get that goes inside that is centimeters. So I'm going to put that in there. 
and now I'm going to lay that on there. Now the first measurement I need is 7.5 centimeters and there isn't a 7.5 on here. It's like 7.4. I don't want to mess it up. So I need 15 centimeters and then I need 22.5 which is in here. And then the 7 one and then I also need a half a centimeter but let's just not do that. So now I'm going to take this out and I'm going to use my, there we go, and I don't think I need the half the thing. I'm going to go to 7.5 centimeters, which is just a hair under three inches. And then make sure you use the, the light gray scoring tool. Okay, and I don't need that little half inch tab, or 0.5 centimeters, because, take a look. We're going to fold on all the score lines. So remember it was 7.5, 15, and 22.5 centimeters. So you're just going to fold on all of those lines. And then see, this was our middle fold. And when you fold this one over, you can see there's a little bit of extra, see? So on this edge, we're going to put our adhesive. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna wait, not do that yet. That's where the adhesive is going to go but we need to put our fold across the bottom for the bottom of our bag. And that's at two and a half inches or six centimeters. So here we go. And it doesn't really matter, but here we go. It's right under my face. So make sure it's tight into the corner. Grab your scoring tool and at the six centimeter mark, you just go all the way down. Okay, so that's what we have. And we're going to need this one more time. So we'll fold that up as well, then it's done. Okay, so remember this is where the adhesive is going. Just a long, thin line of adhesive. And maybe one more. There, you can also use tear and tape. I wouldn't use, um, so now we're folding in the one side and we're folding in the other, and then there's just that little 0.5 of a centimeter overlap. Okay, so now we're doing the same thing we did with the other one. We're folding this up, and then this part there's no measuring for. You open it up, and then you're pressing that down so that that score line matches the inside fold there. There. And then you're pressing this down. Just put your finger in there a little bit. Line up the score lines. Press down. But now we are going to measure. Okay. I'm going to lay it like this. Oh, that was my garbage can falling over. We're going to lay it back in our score pal. Simply scored. And we're going to go to 27.5 centimeters. So that's right here. And we're going to press it right through there. And then we're just going to turn this around, fold this one back out of the way, fold this one so that it is the right way. And we're going to do the exact same thing, 27.5. There we go. Okay, that's all the measuring you need to do. I am not measuring the accordion flap. Okay, so now we're going to fold that over, give it a score. Just want to flatten everything out. And then remember, we're only, this, this paper is much better for seeing. We're only putting adhesive in the little triangle here. Oh, my adhesive is running a bit low which is okay, we don't want too much adhesive, we don't want it puddling. There, and nothing in the middle here, okay? Now we're gonna fold that over, because otherwise you'd be gluing the bottom of your bag shut. I don't wanna do that. But on the other side, see when we fold this over, now there's going to be some adhesive there. So again, in the triangles here, and then across the top, like so. And now we're gonna fold it over. 
give it a nice press. Oh, I lied. We are going to do another measurement. We're going to measure here. And that measurement is, oh, let me look. It's about 2.5 centimeters or one inch from the edge. So let's check and see how, oops, I just lost my, my, um, oh, I've got it. This thing. What do you call that? Scoring tool? I, yeah. Words have been eluding me today. So, yeah, it goes right in this line here, which is 13 centimeters from the edge. If I use my ruler, let's see if that works out perfectly. Let's see. I'm just going to go lightly, okay? No, I'm going to use the, the, I'm not going to use the scoring thing for this. I'm going to use my paper trimmer. So both of them have the scoring thing. So I'm going to lay it on here. And look, it does go to about one inch. But really what you're doing is you're putting that, I just have to move this. I don't have enough room under my trimmer. Right where that corner is, right here, that one, you want to put that in the trough. So every bag is going to be a little bit different. This one goes a little bit past the one inch mark, I would say. Okay. So now I can still see, smell my chocolate raspberry. It's one point, it's one inch and then one line. So one and one sixteenth. I want to move over just a little bit. Okay. So really we're not measuring. We're just giving it a score line where you want to fold. And then here, just that corner, just off to the side of the trough. And you just want to make sure that you don't cut. You want to use your light gray folder. Okay. So let's see how that works out. It does. It is nice to have a score line to fold on. And there it goes. It's nicely in that corner here. And now we're going to fold this one over there. And remember, this is just a guide to, I even think this one's a bit crooked. Just a sec. I don't think I went far enough here. Well, it's, it just doesn't matter too much, guys. Just don't stress about it. See, I'm going a little bit off here, there, and there. This one, this side actually looks wider than this one. See, I'm a little bit, look, I'm not in all the way. There's too much of a gap. So I have to move this one a little bit more if I'm being persnickety. I kind of want to do it just the way it is and see if it makes a difference. So let's do that. So we're going to open that up. We're going to put our hand inside. Open up your bag. Now I have to find something else to put inside as a gift. Okay. So open it up, push down the sides. Like so, and then the other side. And then we want to just crease up our sides, fold it down, press. See, now you've got a nice side of your bag. Now the other side. This is my mutilated side where I changed my folds a few times. Okay. And now we're ready to do the accordion thing, except I need to put something in there yet. So I have to find a gift. Okay, guess what? It's more uh, more coffee. I'm going to visit my, my cousin tomorrow and she loves coffee. So see, now my bag does have a fold down the middle, but remember, it's going to be covered up. So I'm going to fold down back and forth till your bag's about half as high as what it was. Okay. And like I said, there's no need to, um, to score here. This, this is just not necessary. But if it makes you happy, by all means, go for it. But I'm a firm believer in doing as little work as is possible, as is necessary. See? Look at that. So now the next thing we're going to do is tie some ribbon around it. I have this ribbon. Now, it's not heavy, but it is wide. So I'm just going to lay that underneath. 
It's tricky to do this on camera, I have to say. I'm holding this. It's really, you know, I would recommend two people. So I'm just going to grab it and stand it up. You can even let it slide off to the side and then pull it up. Let's try that and see how that works. Because you know what? Not all of us have the luxury of being able to access another person. So I'm just going to leave it off to the side and tie it in a bow. And I'm not tying it too tightly because it has to, all that accordion part has to go underneath. So I'm leaving a little bit of wiggle room and we're going to see if this works. So there we have our bow. That's kind of cute too. Now we're tucking it all up and squeezing it underneath. And you know what? It worked. And now we're just actually, you know what? My, my bow loosened up a little bit. So it's a little bit loose. It's not perfect. This one's not perfect. I need to tie it tighter. And I, since I didn't tie it in a knot, I can do that. See, so I'm just going to tie it a little bit tighter. Tie it in a bow again. So you guys are just watching me struggle, and that's okay. It will make you feel better about your own struggles. There, let's move it again to the top. And now it's nice and tight. Perfect. Maybe too tight. <laughs> you know what? We'll just give it another, we'll give it another fold. There. And it looks really good. We even have a little bit of orange showing, which is the Dutch color. But like, you know what, depending on who you're going to give this to, you can um, decorate it with a nice tag. Um, do whatever you want. You can fix your bow so that it's proper. Mine is all twisty right now. But this is current paper. It, it matches with the astronaut stamp set in the catalog. So just make sure your ends are tied up. And it helps. It helps if this goes in the middle, but it does seem to want to always go to one side. I have to say, but even when that happens, that's okay. We'll slide the bow up so that it's here, and I think it's really cute. So there's our bags. I uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I greatly enjoyed um, showing you because this is totally out of my comfort zone. I never used to make any types of bags or boxes, so. You know, once you get started with this, it's just a lot of fun to use up paper and get cute little gifts. Um, in, in Holland, it's very much a tradition that if you go to somebody's house, that you bring a little something, a little hostess gift. We even went, like, this is the story part of the Stories and Stamps. Last night, we drove two and a half hours one way to go and pick up a big rug. It was three meters by four meters. We needed an area rug in our in my stamp room. So you won't hear the echo anymore that you used to hear. And if you buy one of those new, you're looking at over a thousand euros, anywhere between a thousand to 2,500 or more. And we got it for 100 euros. So it was so nice. But the best part was that the, the people that were selling the rug asked if we wanted a cup of coffee. So we had coffee and apple tat, which is the Dutch version of apple pie with whipping cream. And we not only had one cup, we had two cups. And I think they must have been, they were right around our age. And then before we were getting ready to leave and she asked me, well, do you need to use the washroom before you go? And I thought, oh, that's so sweet. Cause yeah, we had to drive another two and a half hours home. So um, yeah, just really nice. So it would have been nice to give her something too. But anyway, we bought her rug and that's it. So if you guys end up making this bag, send me a picture and leave me a comment. Either I'll be sharing this on Facebook as well, but this will be on YouTube. And I would love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, share with your friends. There's a little share button underneath that you can share to Facebook or Pinterest. Please do that and click that little red subscribe button and uh, join my stamping community. If you are looking to buy supplies, remember if you live in Europe, you can order through me. Just You might need to message me. And if you're in Canada, the links will be underneath in the video. Um, I'd love to do that in Holland too, but it costs money to be able to do that. And it's just not always profitable. So I'm doing it for my Canadian business. Um, and for my Europeans, you guys will just have to work a little harder for me, with me, to make it happen. But we can. And when you order for me, you will get a gift in the mail. You get a PDF tutorial. And this month, it is there are 14 fancy fold cards. So that will keep you inspired and going for a good long while. Have a super day. 
It's uh, a little gray and overcast in the Netherlands. I hope the weather is nicer where you are. But wherever it is, make it a good one. Bye.